is 2017 question number 3 section B strategic finance and management past paper Chandi A the data relating to two companies are given below they give two company and relevant information details equity capital 14% debentures 10% preference shares selling price per unit fixed cost per annum and variable cost per unit output units per annum you are required to calculate the operating leverage, financial leverage and combined leverage for these two companies assuming that tax rate is 40% let's do the question this is company x and y and uh, then the q as first selling price per unit because we need to find the contribution so first we need so that we get first selling price per unit selling price it is uh, 80 and 60 next they give us the variable cost 20 and 16 fixed cost 16 and fixed cost is uh, 1600 next we need to get we can get the contribution 80 minus 20 selling price of minus variable cost it is 80 minus 20 it is 60 contribution x is 60 and contribution y is 44 next we can, they give us the unit in uh, x limited company it is 80,000 and y limited company it is 30,000 they give tax rate is 40 percent now we can get total contribution how do we get the total contribution the uh, contribution per unit multiplied by the relevant units it is 60 uh, multiplied by 80,000 it is 4 4800 so, so. get value now now we can get the EBIT how do we get the EBIT the uh, total contribution minus fixed cost next we can get the, the value says minus variable cost per it is uh, 1800,000 how do we get this is minus variable cost the uh, contribution per unit multiplied by 80,000 contribution per unit multiplied by 80,000 it is uh, 400,000 sorry 4800,000 likewise get other value now we can get the operating, le operating leverage how do we get the operating leverage uh, the sales minus variable cost uh, divided by EBIT and EBIT for interest and tax let's see the answer it is 1.26 and 1.83 in Y company now we can get the interest how do we calculate interest interest is 14% interest is 14% uh, it is uh, 500,000 in X limited and uh, 500,000 multiplied by 14 percent it is in X company it is 70,000 in Y company it is uh, 400,000 multiplied by 14 percent it is 56,000 now we can enter this amount now we can get the profit before tax it is uh, how do we get profit before tax EBIT minus interest now we can get, get the preference shares how do we calculate preference shares the preference shares in, in this is 10 percent preference shares in S company it is 300,000 the 300,000 multiplied by 10 percent is 30,000 next we can get the uh, financial leverage how do we calculate financial leverage the EBIT divided by PBT profit before tax minus preference shares divided by 0.6 because 0.6 the tax rate is 40 percent the 100 minus 40 percent uh, is 0.6 
the EBIT divided by profit before tax there are no any difference here so it is 1.08 now we can calculate the combined leverage how do we get the combined leverage the operating leverage multiplied by financial leverage is 1.3 and 1.98 